Hi, everyone. My name is Aisha Najaya, and I'm the executive chef and partner at Shuka Restaurant right down the block on McDougal from the Cook School. I'm super excited to be part of hashtag Cooking with Cook right now since our gala was canceled. And I love that we continue to work together with the Cook School to sponsor interns in the kitchen. Your students have been such a joy on an, a daily basis in our kitchen. Today, I'm going to be sharing my mother's infamous crumb cake with you, and I promise you it's a guaranteed recipe that will be a showstopper for any birthday or gathering. So first, let's go over the ingredients. For the cake, you'll need flour, baking powder, kosher salt, sugar, butter, vanilla, eggs, and milk. For the crumb topping, and let's get real, this is the best part, you'll need flour, butter, brown sugar, and regular sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. When baking, using high-quality vanilla extract will always be to your favor. What you want to always make sure is that you have everything ready for this. If you have a KitchenAid or a stand mixer, that's perfect, but an old-fashioned hand mixer will do. You need three bowls. One bowl for the dry ingredients, one for the wet, and another one for the crumb. You'll need a spatula to ensure that you're taking all the cake batter down from the sides, confectionery sugar at the very end for the Pierre de Resistance, and you'll need a baking sheet that's 26 inches long by 18 inches wide, and some canola oil to grease the bottom of your pan to make sure that the cake doesn't stick. It's a really good uh, trick to grease your pan. What does grease mean? Right now, you can have your pan and take about two tablespoons of that canola oil with a paper towel and wipe it all over the edges of the pan to ensure that your cake does not stick. If you don't have canola oil, butter will do. Then you take about a two tablespoons of flour and just sprinkle it on the bottom. This will help have the cake absorb that and the bottom will be nice and luscious. Please preheat your oven at 350 degrees. First things first is that we need to mix the flour mixture. So you want to take your two and a half cups of flour, quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt, and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Take a whisk and just mix the dry ingredients together, making sure there's no lumps, and set that aside. Let's put the butter and the sugar together. This is what we call the creaming method or creaming the butter and sugar together. You want to whip this to about three minutes until it's light and fluffy. If you're using your stand mixer, you want to have the paddle attachment ready. After these ingredients are well blended, you want to add three eggs and your one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Keep beating this together and stop after a minute and a half to scrape down the sides of the bowl. You want to make sure that you have homogenized cake batter. At this point, you're going to alternate one third of the flour with one third of the milk. And you want to continue this process in three steps, ensuring that your cake batter stays nice and fluffy, but all the ingredients are incorporated together. Once this is done, we're going to pour the batter in your already greased sheet tray, wiping down all the sides of the bowl, not leaving a morsel inside that bowl because you want all that cake for you. You're going to place this in your preheated oven for 350 degrees for 20 minutes, okay? Now here is the best part, the crumb topping. You've got to roll up your sleeves for this one because it makes the best crumb. What you need is one large bowl. This is really the dump method where you're putting everything in there except for the butter because you need to put that in a small pot and melt the butter down. Lastly, we're going to drizzle the melted butter. Using your hands, you want to mix all of these ingredients together to form large crumbs. The butter will help incorporate throughout all of the ingredients to help it stick. You do want some that look like wet sand, but you also want some large ones so you get that big crunchy bite with this crumb cake. After the cake baked for 20 minutes, you're going to take it out. And with your hands, you're going to sprinkle all the crumbs all over the cake. You're going to ki kindly lightly put them on top. You don't want to press them down because you want your cake to be high and your crumb to be on top. You're going to bake this for 15 additional minutes. Just to ensure that the cake is ready, take a cake tester or a toothpick and make sure that it comes out clean. Now this is the best and worst part. 20 minutes to an hour that you have to wait until this cake completely cools down. If you put the powder or sugar on top while the cake is warm, it will dissolve and won't give you that white snowflakey feel on top.
take your powdered sugar, you can put it into a sieve, or you could just use a large tablespoon and just tap the end of it. And listen, this is not the time to be cheap. Pile it on. When you're taking your bite of crumb cake, think of me and send me an email letting me know how delicious it is. It has been my pleasure to share my family recipe with you, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon at Shuka. Bye.